What's up guys, Carlton Flowers here with the Go Political channel back in your face again and this time I got a special guest in the house, in the flip house actually. He's got a machete that's uh, looking a little sketchy but this machete bearing gentleman of a muscular nature just happens to be my son Christian who uh is studying mechanical engineering. He's working at Hunter Engineering up here in St. Charles, Missouri. We're in St. Louis. This is the flip house. Okay, look at this beautiful light. Isn't that gorgeous? And so I'm gutting this entire house. I promised an update on this. Here's the update. Look at that light. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the new light there. And then uh, redoing the whole bathroom. Here's the bathroom. Putting in an Italian marble floor made out of trophy bases. They're going to be the tiles for it. And so then you come on in here. Here's the kitchen. New light. Got to do the floor downstairs being ripped up. But topic of today, some people don't understand while Christian's chopping things. Why would I vote for Trump when I'm not rich enough to vote for Trump? There's some people say, well, you're not rich enough. You got to be like a multimillionaire to vote for Donald Trump. Otherwise, it doesn't benefit you. And that's a lie. Well, here's one reason right here that I'm standing in and I'm flipping this house, right? And so I don't want a big, fat, nasty capital gains tax uh, increase. I want it to go down. And so my chances of that tax going down are slim to none. If Kamala gets in office, Donald Trump will probably lower the capital gains tax. And then, of course, we got stupid ideas like unrealized gains. Now, that'll never happen. It ain't going to pass no matter what. But... Me as a business owner, engineering consulting, my body shop, the house flipping business, all that good stuff, I get whacked when it comes to tax time. You don't have to be rich, okay? Try being a business owner and then compare how much you're going to pay in taxes with the job people. If you got a job, you might be better off. So maybe there's no benefit, but I don't have a job. I have a retirement check and then all the money I make, I get a big fat stinking bill from the stupid IRS for some reason they want my money I don't know why why do they want my money when they print money by the billions does it make any sense? not at all are they learning you anything about that in that their engineering school? no sir what? nothing about that? actually they be talking and economics uh, yeah, what, what is it? Econ, you taking econ 51? no no econ 51? what? You don't have to go, oh, not yet. So you got to take Econ 51. When I took Econ 51, we had a world famous professor and he was like six foot five and he had this arm span that was like seven foot. <laughs> and he looked like this big lanky skeleton. Um, Walter, I forgot his last name, but he was world renowned economist. And it was really, really hard. So you're going to have to go through that. So anyhow... Uh, just wanted to talk about that. Yet another reason why I am punching the red ticket. Red is that. Punch it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> as red as that shirt. <laughs> I think you've been lifting too many weights. That's all we got for now. Go do your job and vote for Trump. MAGA 2024. See y'all next time. <laughs>